Let's go ahead and start with looking at all of the details of this printer. So starting from the top here, we can see that we have two linear rails for the Z axis and everything is really heavy duty metal, which feels very solid and high quality. So we got the lead screw in the middle that moves the whole Z axis mechanism here up and down. We can see our bearings here for the linear rails, two of them on each side. So very heavy duty and solid and everything is metal or I guess aluminum. So we got a really large knob here, which is easy to operate and smooth. And that's what locks in our build plate and that's how it mounts so pretty simple design but very effective we do have two locking bolts here and we're going to do the leveling here in a second it's quite simple nice little logo so underneath we can see the tub and it is a pretty large printing volume it mounts on these two little bolts so to take it out you got to completely unscrew it on each side and it just comes right out and you guys can see the bottom of it with all those bolts all around which gives you the ability to change the film when you need to there are little handles here that poke out to raise it up and also another detail here if you look at that bolt there it kind of pokes out those are actually feet so when you sit it down you're not actually putting it down on the film itself so so here we can see the lcd screen and it's very large there is a sticker here that says do not peel off this tape this is part of the screen and needs to be there you can see there's little grooves here on the four corners and that's where those little feet fall in and so it's quite easy to align the tub with the printer looking here at the z-axis you can see we have an optical sensor here and there's a pin that goes in it and that's what the z-axis uses as an end stop switch the lead screw stepper motor is underneath so yeah overall pretty typical design very nice and quite quality and here on the front we can see the logo here and the model we have a pretty decent sized touchscreen lcd to the left there's nothing here to see and to the right we have a usb port and this is where we're going to plug in that thumb drive that it came with going to the back we can see there's two fans and they're both running right now as it's on we got a network connection we got some venting here and the manufacturing label and you guys can see the dimensions of the machine itself and also the weight being 10 kilograms and on this side we have the on and off switch with the power input socket here on its side and underneath we can see we have venting holes and there's a large heat sink that's what you see there, that aluminum kind of look. And that's actually for the ultraviolet LED lights to keep them cool. We've got nice squishy rubber feet on the four corners. So yeah, very nicely designed and executed printer here. And I love the cover because it's one piece and it's high quality material. And it's got like this reddish tint to it. And this prevents from UV rays of going in. And also it sits in this groove here which fits nicely and helps prevent vapors from coming out. So the first thing we need to do is level the bed and it did come with this nice little instructions here of how to do that and also to use it as a spacer. So let's go ahead and put our build plate back on. We're gonna tighten it on there. Let's grab our tools that came with the printer and we're gonna need this large Allen wrench. We do have some extra parts in there, which is nice. Also one of these big bolts that go on the sides here. So what we need to do is we need to loosen them and when we do that, our whole platform here is going to be loose. So it's kind of like on a ball. You can see how it moves anywhere. And it also has a spring loaded up and down motion. So whenever it hits the bottom, it can, you know, offset a bit. So we just simply need to take this card now and put it underneath here between the screen and the build plate. And then we're going to go to our tools. I'm going to click here on manual and then home. And so that's going to lower it down to where it needs to be. So you guys can see that it's just in the right spot because it kind of pushed the spring in just a bit. Now we just need to align it nicely. And don't forget it does spin around in circles too. So, And then we're just going to kind of push down on the plate as we tighten these bolts. So and the reason you want to push down on it because you don't want one end to go up or, you know, be uneven. So if you push down on it, it kind of helps it stay level. So this doesn't need to be crazy tight. Just, you know, snug it up and that's it. And our paper should be pretty tight and if we look really close we can kind of see our gap all the way through and it looks very even that should be perfect right there so simple as that now we just need to raise this thing back up the way we do that and you guys can see here we have 0.1 one millimeter and then 10 millimeters at a time so we're set on 10 right now so if we click up here it'll just go up so we might want to click this quite a few times so it'll go up high enough and that's as simple as leveling the build platform so not very complicated at all. So now that we know that's good, we can go ahead and put our tub back in. And by the way, guys, you saw there that we had to peel off the protective layers 
on both sides here. So don't forget to do that. Actually, I haven't mentioned yet that it does have a little cutout here for pouring the resin out, which is nice. And also a little max level so you don't overfill it. So again, the tub drops in right where it needs to be. Tighten these fasteners on the side. And that should be it and you're ready to go. So resin printing is quite easy to get started with. Keep in mind, if you're gonna be working with resin printers, you need gloves. You need a mask and you also need a ventilated area like right now we're in my garage and I got windows open so there's plenty of ventilation. So make sure you understand the safety of resin printing before you get into it. Right, let's go ahead and check out all of the menus here. So we got tools. So we got manual exposure set to zero, stop, tank clean and back. So manual is what we saw where we, you know, home the bed and also we can move it up and down. Exposure, this is testing the UV lights. We can indicate here for how many seconds. Let's click next and it'll actually project a pattern on the top. So, and if you see this pattern, that means everything is working great. So let's go back. So set to zero, we don't need to do that. This is to stop whatever the printer is doing. And then the tank clean is kind of the same thing as the exposure test, except it opens up all of the light to the tank. So if we click on next, we're gonna see it's completely filling the whole tank with UV light. And this is great after you're done printing and you poured all your resin out and you just need to solidify whatever is in there so you can pull it out of there and get it out. So I really like how it comes with that. So here we have system information about the printer. And here we can also adjust the sound if we want it. So I guess we'll leave it on. I think it was off. Internet connection. So if you're gonna use that ethernet cable in the back, you can connect through there. We have some service here, how to reach the company. Languages, and it looks like we only have English or Chinese. Let's go back to English. This is going to be calibrating our touch screen, which we don't need to do. And that's pretty much it for that. And the last one we have here is print. And that's going to read our thumb drive on the side. 